Today I want to give an overview of our G-Fence fence shock detection system. At the end of this uh, presentation, I also want to demonstrate our, our technology. Uh, on this fence panel, I'll actually demonstrate uh, the sensing technology. Now, the G-Fence actually is a fence shock detection system that can protect up to two miles of fence. One of the unique features of uh, the G-Fence is that it can give you pr precise localization to a 10-foot area where an event occurs. So, so therefore, if you have an alarm condition on one panel, uh, you can refer to an event log and it'll say that this particular panel, number four sensor, uh, basically has went into alarm. The other advantage of that event log is that you can actually program PTZ cameras to actually look at that specific area of the fence line where that intrusion or uh, event has occurred. Now, the G-Fence uh, is consisting of a, a maxi butts, which is a head-in unit, a, a control unit, a link termination unit, and also the, the sensor cable, which is an accelerometer. An accelerometer is a new technology, and it's similar to what you have in your iPhone in that it gives you an X, Y, Z access. The benefit in the accelerometer technology is that it gives you um, basically the, the sensor that is doing the technology and the sensing, not the cable. Uh, the problem you have with competitive products that use microphonic cable is that they're very sensitive to damage on the cable during the install, if they get cut are twisted the cable, they, they lose performance and they have a degradation of the, of the performance of the system. If you look at this particular panel, what we have is we have installed two of the G-Fence cables, sensors, uh, and the reason we've done that is so that we can actually demonstrate its immunity to, let's say, wind conditions. I'm going to move the fence similar to what would be caused by the wind, and you'll see that the sensors will discriminate because they will say that this movement is occurring in the same axis on both sensors. It's not an intrusion, it actually is, is uh, some sort of inclement weather condition. We have the control unit. In this control unit, it's solar powered. The solar power basically has the ability in total darkness, if, if, if it was covered or blocked, it would last the, the system five weeks uh, with, without an issue. At the end of five weeks, what happens is that it would actually say that you've got one week uh, of, of battery life left, so you better do something because I'm going to have trouble in about a week. This control unit enables you to adjust a, uh, a roll of, of sensors, and uh, the way the uh, sensors work is that you, they come 40 sensors to a 100 meter roll, and when you would install these sensors on a fence line every 10 feet, with a panel, let's say 10 feet wide, 12 feet high, uh, what will happen is that in this control unit, you're able to adjust the sensitivity and the number of impacts on the entire uh, uh, roll of cable. Or if you had a situation whereby, let's say, part of that fence was in a uh, not a, as good a condition, it was older and, it, and the fabric was a little bit loose, you can go and you can dial in a specific sensor and actually adjust that to a lower sensitivity and to a higher number of impacts. Or let's say, for instance, you were near a gate where you say it's a, a sensitive area. We want to have this particular sensor not be as quite as sensitive as the rest of the sensors in, in the system. Uh, it consists of a control uh, a link unit, termination unit, and what happens is that to, to show this demonstration is that what I'm going to do is move this fence similar to what you would have with the wind blowing. As you can see, these two sensors are not activating. Uh, because they're moving in the same axis, whether that be X, Y, and Z. So the sensor is discriminating, the uh, system is discriminating, indicating that this is probably caused by the wind. If I have an impact, it's basically saying that that is an intrusion and that is a cut and climb, and so therefore I need to have uh, uh, an alarm signal uh, from that sort of an impact. 